Live PC Basics back at you with another video. As you can tell by the title, today we are gonna fix the battery on a Windows 10 machine. Or really any device. So here we go, let's get into it. Step number one go to your battery here and set it to better battery. That's pretty obvious, but people sometimes don't remember that. Or you can put it on battery saver. Uh, but it will turn uh, one drive off. It won't sync if you have it on power saver. So you can do that. Another step would be to do this. Go to your control panel. Go to system and security. And power options. You want to set this to balanced. Right here. Which means it will try and keep your battery life decent. Where if you need more power, it will give your CPU more gigahertz or go up to its proper speed or its maximum power, which will take more battery life. But if you keep it like this, like I showed you earlier, and keep it low, this will keep your um, CPU from using more power. So that's always good if you're trying to save battery life. And then let's show you this last thing. And then the video should be pretty easy to follow. Um, so here we go. So, if you have a Dell computer like I do, and you go to battery information, and go to settings, you can turn this to adaptive, express charge standard, primary AC use, or custom. So what you can do with these is make sure your laptop um, uses as little power as possible. I have mine on adaptive, but you can change it to any of these, as I said. Standard is just like normal power use, so it will keep it at a high enough gigahertz speed where your computer won't slow down too much. Express charge, which just makes it charge faster if you're mostly using it on battery. Primary AC use, which means like if you um, have it plugged in all the time, then it won't like keep charging your battery over and over and hurt it because you can overcharge it and then hurt the battery. Or adaptive, which is what I use, which is kind of like what a Mac would do. That makes the battery last a way longer time because it uses as much power as it needs to, but no more, no less. Um, and then, obviously, if you have headphones, plug those in, turn your volume down because the speakers use a lot of power. If you have a keyboard light like this, turn that off. Turn your brightness as far down as you can. Um, that will save a lot of battery. Um, also, uh, if you can, keep your computer asleep as much as, power, or as possible. Because if you turn it off and turn it back on, um, that uses a lot of power for at least five minutes after it's on. Sometimes three minutes. Because it's trying to load up all your apps and settings and everything. Another thing that could help is if you open up Task Manager and you go to Startup. You want to disable as much of this as possible, um, unless it's like your uh, antivirus um, or like Microsoft Teams, you want to disable that. You usually don't need Spotify to open right away if you have that installed. Uh, like this is for a game I use, you don't need that open all the time. Um, so pretty much anything that you don't need to open on startup, turn that off. It will help a lot. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you uh, if you like the video and like the channel. Anyways, have a good day, guys. Peace.